Hey everybody, Ricky from Handicapping. Thoroughbred racing from North Pole Downs, Tule, Greenland on Tuesday, December the 25th. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 to feature here at North Pole, 2 a.m. Eastern Time. This is the Mistletoe Stakes, 5,600 kilometer steeplechase, 4 year olds and up, grade 1A, racing for a purse of 1.7 times 10 to the 27th dollars. How the race will develop. I had some doubts that make this trip this year as travel eastward was, in my opinion, sketchy at best. But since the terrorism reports from Greenland were somewhere between slim and none, as the joke continues, slim has already left the house. I will indeed leave tonight, December 23rd, for Greenland, with my only protection being the fact that I did not announce my decision until now. Keeping those fanatics away from my limo. Okay, it's a PT Cruiser on the way to New York, Newark, New Jersey Airport to catch my flight. It's indeed snowing here in Greenland, but the landing strip has been cleared easily. After all, it's Christmas as opposed to the holiday season. Well, folks, although the frigid temperatures in here in my area, central Pennsylvania, over the course of the last two days have not had any influence on the record snowfalls here in Thule, Greenland. North Pole Downs host the annual feature, the Mistletoe Stakes. The weather is back to normal today, hovering around minus 14 this afternoon, which compared to last week's weather reports that I was reading in the United States is about a 25 degree decrease in temperature. Despite the chilling breezes and the new snow, attendance is up again this year and the folks are ready for action. Most of the field actually was entered last year and is expected the old broodmare, number three Ms. Claus, who is again running on Lasix, will spring to the early lead. She's an early riser in the field. She'll be out of the gate early. Hopes wants to press her male counterparts into submission. As they head into the 23rd kilometer pole, unfortunately her pace profile shows that she'll weaken from the early pace, and a recently gelded number 7 Rudolph, known to the medical elite as the quadruped, with the vermilion proboscis showing the effects of the medical sword with a brilliantly glowing nose to complement his base skin, will suddenly burst into the lead, being pursued closely by the paired entry of number one Prancer and number one a Dancer, who will stick to the lead for another 475 kilometers. But folks, you know, Jackie Jesus Nazaretho is unbeaten on the giant horse. Number seven, Chris Kringle, a German bred who will take total control of the situation at the 975 kilometer mark for another victory here in North Pole Downs. This is an unusual race, like others on the card today. Only wind betting is allowed, so I've not formulated my usual multiple entry contenders list for the exotic players. Take one to the bank, folks. Chris Kringle and the near walk over. It's been another painful year, especially recently in Connecticut. Whatever your religious affiliations are, enjoy the race, enjoy the season, Merry Christmas, and have a peaceful trip to the window. So from North Pole Downs on Christmas Day, Rick Needham Ford, day at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it. <laughs>